Chutney's men. I need to be careful. Best not to draw attention here. Save that for later. Go, Sunan. Chatvis warriors. We should stay out of sight. Once this land is under Kyotve's lash, we will live like yards. It will not happen while Ravenclaw lives. They fight like berserkers. Ava Wolf kissed, killed a score more single handed. See you, old friend. Clash of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. 
You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kjotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. Shotless warriors crawl through Arval's nest like light. Shotless warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. I must be careful now. Longhouse. My crew should be inside. Must be Gluck from the other side.
There should be an opening in the roof. Show me what lies ahead. will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. me and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. 
You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I will die. I will sell you to hell herself! <laughs> Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you suck of shit! I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you suck of shit! Ugh! <sighs> 
Kneel, Wolf Kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you suck of shit! Your death comes! Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Then it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. Odin! Odin! <laughs> Till the complex! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
try to trip them. <laughs> Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. Thor! Let's stretch the knee. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Ergy scum! Home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Let the sail out. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. 
cut this man. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Let's hit the bastards! Get out of here! Must row in these run up the sail. Jotva will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, 
He would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Chotvis' fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse, it'll be his last song. you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Looking rough you are. Welcome home.
Tovi. Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Sit a while and play, friend. Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I'll come back. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? <laughs> ha! Not like waving an axe around, is it? Drinking takes a strong gut. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. All right, Tekla. I'll out drink this you. This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? Hey, Lord. Come to keep your blade. Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunner. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else?
Anything else? And how are you, Gunner? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not the man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That is all for now. Return any time. They must be finished now. But if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
something. You look like you know a thing or two about dice. Oh, Orlock. I know this game well. Shit, shit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let's do this then. I am pretty good. Do not say I did not warn you.
Bonito. Loki must have tampered with my bones. An immense victory! Dare you reclaim your honor? I'm willing to give you a chance. I've had enough of this. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull, Then I tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, hey, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Elvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon. Sven, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead.
Is there something else? Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. Need anything else? See you later, Sven. Sure.
the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. some spots you missed what are these men hunting for my coat whoever finds find it, it wins an Just evening wait, of my see. company care to join them it must be around here somewhere My eyes soon in.
So Ayaman is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Iron, wake up, or you'll be cast into the wild. Wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I, I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when in your bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go! to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere.
here somewhere. Volka? Hush! I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala! She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice, on a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it... The vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Have you used this sort of magic before? Have no fear. It was not my satyr that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. 
drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Do I walk among the dead? Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God! I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. 
In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. 